Hazley, um, I think you sent your message about not being included on the first team of the West Coast Conference. How do you feel about your tournament title and uh, most outstanding player award? I'm very excited. I don't know. It felt good to kind of not. Yeah, it felt good. It definitely felt good. I'm happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> we both voted and we both voted for you. We want you to know that. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can vote. Can you vote? We can vote. Um, for what? Yeah. For the all-tournament team the and the awards. MVP. Oh, we voted you for the MVP. Oh, thank you. That's awesome. Well, well-deserved. Thank you. We didn't tell Shaylee that we voted for you, but anyway. <laughs> uh, we talked this morning. We gave you the karma. Did you feel like that added to your game? Your guys' karma always helps me. Like, I got it last in the middle of the season, and I had a great next game, and then now this one. I need some more. Well, let's give you some more right now. Yes. For the NCAA it's, tournament. It's Grant yeah. Paisley, the BYU Sports Nation karma. You're not playing for, like, NCAA nine tournament. days, but, yeah. Yeah. Practice. Yeah, for practice. For practice. <laughs> Probably put the mic there. <laughs> <laughs> what what kind of seed do you feel like you guys deserve? You're you're in, you punch your ticket. They actually had a massive ticket, which was awesome. Uh what seed do you want? Ooh, seventh seed. That's yeah. isn't that a lucky number here in Vegas? Absolutely. Seven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Give BYU the seventh seed after a sweep of Gonzaga. Um Brenna Chase, Shaley Gonzalez, and yourself, you combined for sixty four points. At what point in the game did you think, okay, we all we all showed up today? Um, I I I think like the the middle of the third quarter and all of us had like pretty good points and I was like, okay, this looks a lot like the Pepperdine game the first time we played him when we all had 20 points. I was so mad I missed those free throws. Like, are you kidding? <laughs> Literally, like to get to 20. Yeah, I was like. We could have made history again. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. That's right. Earlier this season, the first time BYU had ever had three players in the same game score 20 plus. And was that the only game all year? Yeah, I think so. So this could have been two? Yeah, I'd be mad too. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have something to work on, right? Yeah, right, yeah. right. You can't do it all really well. You said on the podium uh, when asked uh, about, you know, when did you feel like this was a team that could be special or a champ? And you said in Europe. Juddy, Juddy said the same thing. Why do you feel that is? Um... I think just the way we came together and not necessarily on the court. It wasn't it wasn't necessarily what happened on the court in Europe. It was just how we all kind of got to know each other, like each other, like be engrossed in each other's lives. I think that really helped and that always carries over to the basketball court and it shows like it shows the what is the word? Camaraderie? Yeah, what, that Friendship. we all have together. Yeah, it's nice. It's fun. I love playing like that. Team basketball is my thing. I love that. The next step is clearly the NCAA tournament, but talking big picture here, this team is still relatively young. You're a sophomore. Shaley Gonzalez is a freshman. Even Brenna Chase is the old veteran. She's a junior on the guard line. Sarah Hampson's a sophomore. What does the future of BYU women's basketball hold in store? I think it's only going up from here. Like, We're kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> Understatement of the day. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations on the win on the tournament MVP, and uh, we're excited for Monday to see where you go. Thank you, guys. Thank and you. nice job uh, with the water bottles on Jetty's suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was soaked. He was, he was telling us to stop, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Paisley. Thank you, guys.